What's going on everybody? Happy Friday. The weekend is just around the corner and we have some great news for you today, so let's get to it. Today we're going to be talking about a new active shooter program open to the public, why healthcare didn't pull as many voters for Democrats in this year's election, and FGCU's dominating performance last night on the basketball court. Thank you for stopping by. Today is Friday, November 9th. I'm Jared Brady and this is your Naples Herald Daily Report brought to you by our friends at Basilokia of Cape Coral. Okay, you hear it all over the news, but have you ever asked yourself, what would you do if you were trapped in an active shooter situation? Well, Southwest Florida residents will soon have the opportunity to learn about reacting to a dangerous situation as the Collier County Sheriff's Office will be offering an active shooter presentation to the public next week. First Sergeant Neil Bohannon will hold the presentation on Tuesday, November 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. According to the release from the CCSO, the presentation centers around run, hide, fight tactics, and when to use them. The training will also teach participants how to administer first aid not only to themselves, but other victims during a mass shooter scenario. And while many of the tips can seem like basic knowledge, Bohannon said that it's essential to have worked through the scenario before you actually find yourself trapped in an actual active shooter incident. Okay, but the presentation is free to the public, but space is limited and those interested can reserve their spot by heading to our website at naplesherald.com and clicking on this story. Florida Democrats pushed healthcare as a top priority during this year's elections, hammering Republicans for attempts to repeal Obamacare and the potential loss of insurance protections for people with pre-existing conditions. And Democrats also hope to support for a Medicaid expansion that would help ferment a blue wave that was supposed to wash over the state on Tuesday. But after Democratic gubernatorial nominee Andrew Gillum and other candidates for statewide offices were defeated, the blue wave looks more like a blue puddle, with healthcare not giving the Democratic Party the shot in the arm that it was really looking for. Alan Levine, a key healthcare advisor to formal Republican Governor Jeb Bush, said while numerous polls indicated that healthcare was a top concern with the voters, the words healthcare mean different things to different people. Referring to the idea that, to some people, the issue of healthcare is being very upset because their premiums cost so much, but to others, it's that they simply don't have access. But Jody Ray, director of Florida covering kids and families, held out hope that the 2018 elections could be a turning point for the state's healthcare system, but soon after said, we were hoping that there was a potential to bring that up in the future, and that's a shame that that fight may not happen. It's a team with more questions than answers. This year's FGCU men's basketball team Playing against non-Division I opponents like Thursday's home opener against NAIA Southeastern marks a chance to evaluate a little more about what new head coach Michael Fly has to offer the program. The Eagles showed flashes of an aggressive, fast-paced, ball-hawking transition team mixed with other flashes of a team that doesn't quite know how to play with each other yet. The flashes, though, won out as the Eagles beat the Fire 81-54. And for as much as FGCU coughed up the ball in their season opening loss to Illinois State on Tuesday, they sure flipped the script on Thursday. The Eagles forced 27 turnovers of the fire, 17 of those turnovers were steals, and it was from those steals that the Eagles offense went from sputtering to flying. Now, this weekend, the Eagles are heading up north to face off against the Michigan State Spartans. Now, that just about does it for us here today. If you like what you heard and want more information about what's going on around Southwest Florida, or just Florida in general, head on over to our website at naplesherald.com. Check us out on social media. And if you're watching on YouTube, just click that red button there and subscribe to our channel. Again, thank you for stopping by. I'm Jared Brady, and that was your Naples Herald Daily Report.